we are back with another half dollar hunt from Iowa. This will be a four box hunt. They have the box codes of triple X one, three of them. Those will be the first three and the last box will be a box code of 4402. Now I already weighed all these coins up. There are a bunch of heavy ones. They range anywhere from 226 all the way up to 226.8. And our heaviest ones will be in this box here. So we have a 226.8 and we're hoping to find 90% silver. I have one marked in orange and black. I put a question mark because I'm not sure if this is an ender, but it does weigh heavy at 226.6. And there are a lot of 226.1s, a 226.5, and a 2262. We have one marked in yellow, 214.8. That's missing a coin. But before I get the hunt started, thank you, Roy. I really appreciate you bringing these in once again. So our sixth hunt, and hopefully we can find some more of that Iowa silver brought into the, to the East Coast. That would be really cool. So we will be searching for silver, proofs, errors, varieties, foreigns, any oddities. So hopefully we can find some of them DDOs that always elude me. So let's see what's in Iowa hunt number six. We are already at that light roll, 214.8, and the heavy ones still have not produced any silver yet. So let's see how many coins are hiding in roll. Number 22. I don't see any silver, but we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. So we have lost a coin. We are coming up on rule number 29, and we still have not found silver, but this is our first heavy heaviest one. It's 226.5, and that light one was missing a coin. So will we find silver in 226.5? If I can get it open, we will find out. Yes, we will. Look at that. We're finally going to get our first silver, and it looks old, and it's going to be a walk in liberty. And that is a 1936. Looks like it's from Philadelphia, but that is a good start. We are coming up to our heaviest, heaviest one. And, yeah, we found one walker. Let's see if we can find something in this one. These rules have been tough getting open, but it's worth it if there's going to be walkers. Oh, there's going to be something hiding right there. Oh, it's going to be a 1964. And it looks like it's from Denver, 90%. Or, that is awesome. We are coming up to our last roll. I marked that question was a 226.6. Don't know if that's an ender, so let's see if we have last roll of luck. Not going to be an ender, but there is an inner. Oh man, it's going to be another walk in Liberty. Looks like it's from Philadelphia, a 1937. A little slick, but that is cool. Two walkers and a 64. Number two. I already weighed all these up. The heaviest one actually in this one also is a 226.8. So we're hoping to find that 90% silver. The lighter ones have not produced. We do have one here that's a 226.4. So let's get box number two underway and see what we can find. We are already coming up on roll number 39 to our 226.8. Will there be an error? Let's see. Wow, I do not see anything, but let's see. That is shocking that there is no silver in that roll. This is what happens, no matter how heavy they are. No, there was no silver in ro that roll. Wow. We actually might get a silver. And it wasn't even heavy. It was, I don't even know what the weight is on it now. It 225.8. And we will get a 1968. 40% silver out of box number two. That is awesome. And we are back with the recap already. I did not show box three and four. There was nothing in that. It doesn't matter how much these coins weigh. The Iowa rolls always seem to weigh a little heavier than the East Coast rolls. So those 226s, those low 226s, I just assumed there would be nothing in them, but you never know. And that one that weighed 226.8, 
I was shocked and surprised that there was nothing in it. So I broke a record today. 226.8 is the highest roll I've ever gotten with no silver in it. So you never know what you're going to get even when you weigh your rolls. So other than that, we did pretty good. In the first box, we did find that 1936 Philadelphia Walk in Liberty. And we also found 1937 Walking Liberty. And the last year for 90% silver, 1964 from Denver. So that was pretty cool. And in box number two, we did pull out a 1968 from Denver, 40% silver. And we did lose a coin, but I'll lose a coin anytime to end up with four silver coins. So we did average one a box, which is what I hope to always achieve. So we did very well. Two Walkers, two Kennedys, 390s, 140. It was a good hunt. Too bad there was no other varieties. I always hope to find them, but they were not to be found this time. Maybe next time. I want to thank Roy once again for bringing these boxes in from Iowa to the East Coast. I really appreciate it, Roy. This was fun. So hopefully next time we could add to our stack from Iowa. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And I would like to thank everyone for watching my latest video and good luck on your next hunt.